What's, What's good, good YouTube? YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys the tools that you need to make money with your pickup truck. Ain't about me average. I just pick up the phone, keep counting and adding, keep counting and stacking. So the tools that we're gonna show you in today's video, we use them for both furniture delivery and junk removal jobs. And we'll leave links in the description down below for all the tools that we have in this video. Aside from the pickup truck, one of the most important tools you need when doing junk removal and furniture delivery is a dog. Now this dolly right here is a special dolly because it's specifically made from going upstairs. It has gliders on the back that helps you get up and down the steps when you have things like washers and dryers or couches attached to it. Now we do have these two alternative dollies. This one is a two-in-one dolly. And if all else fails and the piece of furniture is too long or awkward, we'll use these forearm dollies. So how this works is you lay it on the ground and then you just cross them. You have one person come on one side and the other person gets on the other side. And you put the piece of furniture right down the middle and you will pick it up. Some of the tools that you're gonna need is a basic tool set. It has a socket wrench in there and screwdrivers. And you also need an Allen key. Show the tools, show the tools. Bust I'm gonna go to these gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go to the gloves. Oh my God. Uh. Two kinds of gloves. You have your <laughs> regular, regular gloves. You know, you can find these anywhere for about a dollar, two dollars. Yeah, or you could get a, a 10 pack of them for probably yeah. like eight dollars. Very cheap gloves. Or you can go high impact. J Burrows, put up your finger. When you're not wearing high impact gloves, you, you end up like him with the no, smash. No, no, no. When you got a bad helper that drops furniture on your finger, that's when you end up with a finger. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it, it didn't happen like that. It didn't happen like that. It the really point did. is, the point is, if you're trying to keep your finger safe, go high impact gloves. And speaking of hand safety, foot safety. It's, it's just all, as important. Yeah, it's just as important. So these steel toe boots, we got these from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart and what were those, $30? Yeah, I think yeah, they were like $30, cheap. $40. Get those because we're always in situations where we have to come down and it might get on your toes. You don't want to mess up your toes, man. Some extra tools that you can use that aren't required but will make the job easy is a reciprocating saw and then you need a drill. It's not required, but it just makes the job a lot faster. If you don't have a saw, you can also go with a sledgehammer. In some situations, it's a lot faster than a saw. In some junk removal jobs, when you're doing home clear outs, there's gonna be a lot of small items on the ground. So you will need an industrial broom, some trash bags, and a heavy duty trash can. Make sure you spend some money in your trash can because we have a cheaper one than this and it ended up cracking pretty fast. Yeah, because we put bricks in it. Boom! All right. So the last things we're gonna show you are for load securement and they also can be used for furniture delivery. Here we have three different types of ratchet straps, short, long, and heavy duty. Next, we have our tarp and we use this mostly on rainy days when we're delivering um, mattresses and we just wrap it real good, tuck it in so the customer's stuff don't get damaged. Last but not least, we have the furniture mat. We just use this like for end tables or nightstands when we're delivering it so their stuff don't get bumped up or get any scratches on it. So these are just some of the tools and equipment you can use when you're starting a business with your pickup truck. If you're just getting started in junk removal or furniture delivery, this is a great place to start with your tools and equipment yes. if you didn't know where to start. If you gain any value at all from this video, make sure you like it so our video can get shown to more people. And don't forget, we left links in the description for all the tools that we showed in this video. So check that out. Ain't nothing about me average. Ain't nothing about me average. I just pick up the phone, keep counting and adding, keep counting and stacking. I made the money up here like this shit was some magic. Stay down, be raised, and one day you might get the key to the action. When I walk in the store, they gonna show me some.